Information about Serpanaka is found in Valmiki Ramayana, Ramkaritmanas, Ramchandrika, Sakit, Sakit Sant, Panchavati etc. It is known to all that Lakshmana had cut off Serpanaka's nose. Let's know 10 interesting information about Serpanaka. 1. Who was Serpanaka? Serpanaka was the daughter of Rishi Vishwasravas and Kaikasi and sister of Ravana, the king of Lanka. Sherpavat Nakani Yaja Sa Sherpanaka means whose nails are like soup. 2. Sherpanaka's husband's name, after Ravana ousted Kabura and settled in Lanka, he married his sister Sherpanaka to Kalka's son Vidyuviva. 3. Serpanaka's curse on Ravana, Ravana, who went on Trilokia victory, had also killed Vidyujiva in a war. This made Sherpanaka very sad. He cursed Ravana in his mind that because of me you will be annihilated. Ravana reassured him and sent him to live with his brother Kar. She started living in Dandakaranya. However, on the basis of legends, it is also said that once Ravana went to Sherpanaka's house. Sherpanaka's husband Vidyujiva was a worshipper of Sri Hari. Ravana got angry seeing this and killed him there. For, Serpanaka was fascinated by Ram, according to the story, Sri Ram used to live in Dandakaranya. Dandakaranya. When Serpanaka saw Sri Ram there, she became infatuated with him. Knowing Ram's introduction, told him that I am a self-willed demon in this state. Everyone is scared of me. The mighty Ravana, the son of Vishrava, is my brother. I want to marry you. Hearing this Sri Ram smiled and said that he is married and his younger brother Laxman is unmarried, so he should go to him. 5. Laxman had cut off his nose. When Serpanaka proposed marriage to Laxman, Laxman rejected it and sent her back to Rama. Hearing this, she got angry and said that if I eat Sita now, then she will not be a stepmother and then we will get married. When she rushed towards Sita, Laxman cut off her nose and ears as per Rama's orders. It is said that all three lived in Panchabadi when this incident happened. Panchabadi is in Nashik. It was also said that Nashik got its name because Serpanaka's nose was cut off there. Although some scholars do not believe it. 6. Killing of Kar and Dushan, Serpanaka went to her brother's car and Dushan with her nose cut off. Both attacked along with their army. Rama asked Lakshmana and Sita to go to a cave and fight the entire army single-handedly. At last he killed Kara and Dushan along with their army. Muni and Gandharv also went to see this war. When Dushan, Trishira and many demons were killed, Kara himself went to fight with Rama and he was also killed. Rama killed Kara, Dushan, Trishira and 14,000 demons. 7. Serpanaka in Ravana's meeting, in Panchavati, insulted by Laxman, Serpanaka told her grief to her brother Ravana and filled his ears saying, Sita is very beautiful and she is very worthy of becoming your wife. Then Ravana along with his maternal uncle Maricha hatched a plan to kidnap Sita to avenge his sister's insult. 8. Former birth of Serpanaka, it is said that in the previous birth, Serpanaka was an apsara named Nayanthara of Indralak. At that time, a sage named Vajra was doing severe penance on earth, then being pleased with Nayanthara, Indra sent it to the earth to break the penance of the sage, but when Vajra sage's penance was broken, he turned it into a demonic being. Curse thee on apologizing to the sage, Vajra Rishi told him that you will see the Lord only in the birth of a demon. Then the same Apsara became Sherpanaka Rakshasi after sacrificing her body. 9. Sorpanaka's eyes of knowledge opened, when Lakshmanji cut off the nose and ears of Sorpanaka, Sorpanaka's eyes of knowledge opened and she realized who she was. Then, by becoming his helper to complete the work of the Lord, he got the nocturnals like Kar and Dushan, Ravana, Kamhakarna, Meghnad etc. killed by the hands of the Lord and went to Pushkarji to adopt the proper process of attaining the Lord and stood in the water and worshipped the Lord. Started meditating on Shiva. However, it is also said that after Ravana was killed, Sherpanaka went to the demon Guru Shukrakarya and started living in his hermitage in the forest. 10. Wives of Sri Krishna, it is a legend that after worshipping Shiva, Lord Shiva appeared to Sherpanaka and granted her a boon that in the 28th Dwapar Yuga, when Sri Ram will take the Krishna avatar, then you will get husbandly happiness from Krishna in the form of Kabja. Then Sri Krishna will fix your hump and give you the charming form of Nayanthara Apsara.